Welcome guys, my name is Targi and welcome to my latest class set video for Advanced Warfare. Alright guys, last time we did class set video I said my next one would be really soon. Sorry that was a long time ago. But we're here, I said it would be Assault Rifle, so here we go. The DLC weapon for the latest DLC pack for Advanced Warfare, or if you have the Season Pass, you got this already. The AE-4 is a Directed Energy Assault Rifle. Now... This weapon sports a damage of 9, accuracy of 9, fire rate of 11, range of 8, handling of 13, and mobility of 10. It is base version, not counting things like the Widowmaker, which you get by default. But I've also seen other um, professional and enlisted grade versions of this weapon, which seem very cool, very cool indeed. Now, let's jump right in. First up, you want foregrip to make this thing as accurate as possible. And a must for this weapon, a must is heat sink. Now what heat sink does is extends firing time before overheating. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this weapon, you may think for overheating, look to the right. Like a lot of directed energy weapons in this game, it will overheat. And this is kind of the trade-off. It has a limited bullet, but, well, not bullets, but plasma, concentrated energy. Whatever, it floats your boat, but watch. Boom. Now I've got to put in the next one, which, Actually, it doesn't seem, when you put this in, I think this may have been patched, I remember a longer time here. Basically, it will overload, and you will have to toss in your battery pack. Bear in mind, you have unlimited battery packs, so it's not a big deal. However, that is time wasted putting in the next pack. Uh, the most effective way to use this weapon that I have found is fire in bursts. Like, well, not, not actual bursts, but boom, wait a second, boom. Wait. So that way you never actually overheat. However, if, like right here, you see a lot of targets on screen at once, you can spray them down. However, it's not recommended with it overheating so quickly. Now you may think, wow, it overheats really quickly. Yeah, well, you're really going to want the heat stick on, because without it, it overheats like a fucking mother. I'll tell you what. So you want to toss your heat sink right on there. And I haven't really got all the third attachment for this weapon. I really use this weapon a lot. When I do use it, I do really well with it, but I don't use this attachment. Attachment, what am I talking about? This weapon a whole lot. I don't know why, just bullets seem to be more reliable in my case. But, uh, disregard that. That's just personal preference. Now, for your perk one, you want lightweight to be able to roll around the map as quickly as you can. Second perk, you want peripherals. So you can see as much of that main map as possible and see where those bad guys are coming in from. Perk 3, a must-have, is Blast Suppressor. Makes you like a ninja. Your exo movements will not come up as a red ping on the minimap. And you can put an optional second perk 3, uh, grade 3 perk on here. I went with Hardline just because I have higher grade score streaks than usual. Now you can either put on, at this point, either a secondary Simtex. I go with Simtex, but that's personal preference. You guys can put on whatever you want. I just like Simtexes. And if you're going to toss on an armor ability, I really recommend Exo Shield. So if you overheat and you start getting shot at, you can, the shield will take some of the damage for you. And for perks, UAV is my usual starter. Now, I bump right up to Bombing Run for a second perk. And for the third one, I go with an Aerial Assault Drone. Upgraded with IA Control, so I don't need to control it. And Rockets. Now, however, if you want, you can take the Paladin. At this point, this actually will cost as much as a Paladin to call in, which seems pretty steep, but uh, does this cost as much? Yeah, that should cost as much as the Paladin to call in. Upgraded, yeah. Which, you know, I prefer to just be on the move. I found the Paladin kind of, I don't know. I, I love using the Paladin, but I don't think I'd use it in every single match. So... Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like. If you want to stay a little longer and watch the gameplay of this weapon, how I use it, yeah, 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 feel free to do that. Remember to like, favorite, and if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.
Friendly UAV above. Bombing run clearing the way. Assault drone ready. We're winning this fight. Friendly assault drone in action. 